Greetings, hi, the War Al greets you, and I'm gonna be showing you here once again another 5 vs. 5 Counter-Strike Global Defensive Match, and this one is going to be game number 2 between Complexity and the Ninjas in Pajamas from the EMS-1 Katowice Tournament. And here they go, it's gonna be on Nuke. Game number 1 did, in fact, go to Complexity on Dust 2. Did a lovely job with that. All right, here we are now on the pistol round. And we do have Terrace it's going to be going outside quite heavily. They're waiting outside as well. Boosting up onto the uh, marshmallow there. There's Forrest. Moving across. Trying to get some picks there early on. Let's see where Forrest tries to go with this. And teammates getting ready to cross here. There's no smoke. This is a difficult cross because of that pre-nade comes in here. And terrorists are able to take downstairs. Now this is scary because counter-terrorists have to rotate to deal with this. There's three players now downstairs. counter terrorists still engaging players upstairs who are lurking them. This is looking really bad for complexity. Pistol round on this is so important. If T's can grab pistol, um, they're going to be in a great position on this map. And now we just have two counter terrorists left trying to retake this thing. It's Symphys and Swag. Get right. They're going to be lurking behind them. And takes the last player down, both of them. And uh, that's going to be the game there. Ninjas in pajamas taking round number one. What does that mean? It is a, it's DE nuke, so it is going to be a counter-terrorist sided map. Very counter-terrorist sided to where I think terrorists on this are going to, going to want to shoot for about five uh, points. So that pistol round gives them this buy here. And, uh, okay, so Complexity is doing the right thing. Um, they're buying armor and uh, pistol for this round. Now, because it's so CT sided, you're, it's possible for them to actually grab this round, steal it from Ninjas in Pajamas, and uh, you know stop stop the push there. Because two points for Ninjas in Pajamas is going to be huge here uh, for the two, first two. However, they have bought fully, so it's still going to be a very difficult round for Complexity. This is sort of a gamble here for them to do this. If Flaren walks by, nobody watching outside. Because they want to get in uh, close quarters combat with those pistols. There's a fall-off distance. Um, the, the farther you shoot those things, the less damage it's going to do. So they're going to have to get multiple headshots on these armored players. Except for Forrest, who actually does not have a helmet. And Forrest going to be peeking outside. There's Gares. Just about saw him. Terrace getting ready to do a split A here. We see the players inside of Lobby. Getting ready to push upstairs. Forrest outside will be going through mini. And exist... Grabs a frag. Terrace now getting ready to push upstairs. Here's Gidright. Gidright will be entry fragging here. Takes out Swag. Getting ready to push into the site. He's down 46, so he's going to switch with Exist. It will be the player. Oh, Exist gets tagged as well. Terrace now streaming forward into the site. Freebird. And taking him down. Nice take there by the Ninjas in pajamas. That is going to greatly hurt Complexity because they went for that armor uh, pistol buy, and they actually did not take any frags. Or they took one single frag. They're going to be hurting economically. And we know that Complexity has been making inappropriate decisions in their uh, purchasing on these eco rounds. So we see two pistol buys here. Let's see what they're going to be able to do. I think they're going to have to wait till fourth round. Because we're on round number three um, to buy. But even then, it might be a little bit light. They might not have all the smokes and flashes they need. And uh, CT side, dust too. You need to make sure you have all of your smokes. All right, here's Hiko. And Zephyr, so putting two players here on the save round to hold off ramp. Fiflaren already running by, so it's the same sort of setup here. And wow, Freebird goes down to uh, Swag. Players getting ready to push at long. Here is Git right, or at uh, ramp there. And look at this, CT's actually able to take Lobby and force this terrorist out of here. Oh, there's the nade stack on Gares who snuck through inside of the squeaky room. Terrorists take position back. Two players at ramp trying to push. Not going to happen. Here's Gidright entry fragging again. Interesting that Gidright is taking on the entry fragger role here. Generally, he's going to be the uh, the lurk player who plays behind and goes for rotators. Oh, Semphis with a nice shot. Evening this up here. Look at this. Two ninjas in pajamas players down. And this is a full save from Complexity. Now a three versus three. Hiko takes down Exist. Or trades with Exist. Now going to be a two versus two. Trading on a save round is a good thing to do. And here's nothing. Going outside, there is nobody there. One player upstairs, one downstairs. Counter Terra stacking downstairs. And we do have Forrest with three frags now creeping down the ramp. The Flaren already downstairs. They will be trying to plant this bomb. Good entry frag there. Bomb plant by Forrest. The Flaren will watch his back. Nothing. Drops down and does get taken down. Ninjas in pajamas takes round number three. 
So this is critical for complexity. Can they buy Foley? And they've got plenty of money here. We'll keep close watch on how many kits they have, if they have helmets, and if they have uh, full smokes. They need at least four smokes here to be able to hold off this map uh, effectively. All right, and we see three smokes, a number of flashes, and Swag does not have a helmet, so they're, they're still good. It's still a full buy. It's still okay. All right, let's check out how Ninjas in Pajamas plays this. Fiflaren running outside. They've been doing this every round, which is a little bit strange. They usually don't play Fiflaren outside. They usually send uh, two players outside to play that thing. This time, Fiflaren's going to be soloing it. And the defensive smokes are down, delaying Ninjas in Pajamas, forcing them into a push after the smoke's clear. All smokes are thrown from complexity, so they used them all very quickly. Still a minute left. Ninjas in Pajamas can do anything. Fiflaren gets by, but he's down to... Uh, 13 health here. Forest outside as well. So this is sort of normal when they have Forest and Fiflaren outside. Terrace, looking like they want to take upstairs. We actually have nothing here up inside of the rafters. It's going to be a difficult take. Bomb still inside of Lobby. And looking like Exist wants to pick Pico, who is playing Ramp. Now pulling back because there's another smoke down. All right. Terrace getting ready to take the site. And they're doing the split A finally. Here they go. Pushing into the site. Swag's on the ground. Swag does go down, but it's a trade. And nothing's dead. Terrace have the site. Just he go left. One versus three. Can he do this? So he right now has to figure out where these terrorists are. He's got to use his uh, sound there. And actually looks like he's going to be saving. Ooh, Fiflaren. Almost grabs uh, him as he's trying to get over here into the CT spawn to save. We'll see if these terrorists now send out their players to try to, uh, to kill Hiko. Make him drop that weapon for the next round. Ninjas in Pajamas off to a great start here, Terrorist side. Three points. This will be four. That's huge. One more point puts him at their quota in a position to win this game. Complexity is not able to hold them off here. And... Oh, there's the need. And Hiko... They trade for Flaren for Hiko, and that's going to be a good trade because now Complexity does have to save, and they have nothing. They may just grab a few of those um, eco weapons, like the auto pistol. We'll see what happens. So saving CT side very, very difficult. Usually you stack the bomb sites when you do this, or stack at least three um, inside of a site. Gare's going to be going outside. He did purchase the auto pistol. This thing's going to be great for just grabbing a frag and uh, stealing the weapon. Terra setting up the same way. We got Forrest there outside of, uh, of the Marshmallow. Two players outside. Three inside of Lobby. This is just the standard way to play Nuke. Oh, Gare shows himself. Is he going to commit to this and try to grab this frag? No, he's not. He's not going to try and get the pick. Pulling back. Terrorists still playing very passive. He flare and taken outside. Look at this. Swag is inside of Secret. Waiting for him. Swag pushes forward and does take him down. Nice shot. That is one pick already. Well, there's the other pick by Gidright. Oh, nothing. Pushing forward to take Gidright down. And almost does it. Terrace now taking the side. Semphis trades. Just Hiko left again. One versus three. Get right down to one health. So close. Complexity is just on the verge of being able to take a point here. Did... Grab this AK-47, could be saving this thing. Bomb has not yet been planted, 30 seconds left. Looking, looking like Hiko's actually going to commit to this and try this. He's got the AK, he just has to hit those one-taps. Gidright is down. Bomb has not been planted, 25 seconds left. Exist in Forest. Now Forest going to be planting the bomb. Hiko looking for an opening. Exist gives himself away inside of uh, the hut. Now moving back. And Hiko, he can do this. This is definitely doable. He's got to grab these two um, shots here. Both of those players are low, so he can go for body shots on them. And Forrest peeking, does take out Forrest. Now a one versus one. Exist, moving into, just has to watch that bomb. Hiko going to be faking it. He knows he's in hut, waiting for him to push out. Exist, definitely going to be playing this close. And does push out and take him down with a headshot and the reason exists knew he didn't have to push there oh he dies and loses his gun so everyone's dead for that round that was a very good save round uh from complexity thanks to hiko and his thrilling heroics
So the reason Exist knew he didn't have to peek there was because he knew that Hiko didn't have a kit. You don't buy a kit when you do a full save like that. So he knew he had 10 seconds. He did not have to peek him. So even if Hiko did a fake, there was really no way that Hiko was winning uh, that round. So all right, match is paused. We will resume once they are ready to continue. All right, the match has resumed. Complexity now able to buy ninjas in pajamas at that all-important five points. Now is the time for Complexity to put up the walls of defense to shut out the ninjas in pajamas, prevent them from taking another point in this half. Let's see if they can do it. Ten points. Come on, Complexity. Bought fully here. <clears throat> it looks like they're going to be playing an opera. Um, we'll be watching outside. We'll be watching the cross. They can easily smoke this out, but ninjas in pajamas is not one to smoke outside and run secret. Instead, looking like they usually just send Forrest and Anthony Flair in here. Play strategically and don't allow them to get in a, a, a position. So, because of that, you know, the spraying going on outside, they've rotated Semphis here over to Secret. Because they think Terrace is going to try and take Secret, but Terrace actually, look at this. Rotating back over to Lobby. So, everyone's Lobby now. I think they're going to try and take Ramp. There's just Hiko here. <clears throat> because they rotated that player downstairs, it's going to be that much more difficult to deal with them. Swag grabs two frags. There's the defensive smoke. Terrorists pushing forward at ramp. It's up to Hiko to hold this off here. Three of them left thanks to Swag. Oh, just missing those shots. And does go down, but he has dinked them. They are all very low. Here is Gares trying to see if they're going to get a little bit out of position. Not going to happen. No mistakes here from Ninjas in Pajamas. They're pushing downstairs. They are so low. We could see a mow down here from Semphis, and Semphis goes down. Just swag left. He's still waiting upstairs. No rotate, just left, even though they saw all players and bomb downstairs. And Gare's playing the ramp. One player waiting for him as well. Swag going to go down the vents. They can do this. All right, does get vision on Freeburg. And Freeburg down very low now. Gare's creeping down. They're running out of time. Get right's on his right. And they both do go down. They try and push at the same time. That is uh, nasty. All right, Ninjas in Pajamas dominating this game. Blue Shell Effect is in full effect. That means Complexity will be buying. They got two Famas's on the field. They are in some serious trouble now. Ninjas in Pajamas not letting them take anything. Continuing to play the same way here. All right, Forrest and Flair playing outside. Forrest getting up on the banana. Gare is going to be the outside player. Will take down Flaren. Forrest looking for him now, but he wisely pulls back. Oh. Did he see him drop down? Now Forrest at red. Where? Fiflaren died. Terrace inside of lobby taking their time. We see Hiko moving forward as well. Trying to hold these players down. There's the defensive smoke to prevent them from taking ramp. Garrus goes down. This looks like a good round for complexity. They have lost a player though. Garrus does go down. Terrace inside of lobby. Creeping forward. Looking like they want to take the uh the ramp here forest finally takes down semphis and Terra is now pushing ramp once again all up to hiko and he's gonna pull back here oh get right drops down shows the bomb we'll see a full rotate from these counter terrorists very fast to prevent this bomb plant here is swag down here waiting for him now and Terra's yet to move into the site that smoke means we're planting downstairs that's the tell and here they go downstairs and Complexity not over-rotating. Do take out the Lurk player, which is very nice. This will make this a very safe retake. Oh, look at that. Swag opens the door and takes down Exist as soon as he sees him. Now a one versus one. Freeburg just has to play this bomb. And timer ticking down, and Freeburg grabs the frag off of Swag, and Ninjas in Pajamas continues their dominance on this map. So Dust2 going to Complexity. Ninjas in Pajamas back with... Vengeance here on this map. Destroying complexity. This is so painful for complexity. Zero points at this point of the game. On nuke, which is so CT-sided. And they are forced. Blue Shell Effect is, is helping them buy every round, but it's Famas's, so they are definitely at a weapon disadvantage. And they're definitely at a momentum disadvantage as well. This has to hurt. Especially when you're on stage... Bunch of people watching, and this starts to happen. Very painful experience. But it's the great teams that are able to pull through it. All right, and they're playing aggressive here. Semphis gets picked. Counter terrorists were trying to take lobby, and it didn't look like it happened. They have the bomb down just because it was dropped, though. No players fragged yet. Oh, nice shot. Nothing moving in. 
We do have Terra still at lobby. Looking like they're gonna push here. Still trying to commit to this let's take lobby strategy and then hold it down. Nothing grabs it. Swag now moving in. And there's Gidright. Oh, tries to grab a weapon. It's a trap. Gidright now goes down and they have the bomb. Now they just have to play defense. 43 seconds left and uh, here come the Terra's to retake it. Forest coming through ramp. He flaring way on the other side of the map. Gonna take some time, so it's all up to Forest here. And Forest actually coming up the ramp. They're gonna try and take this at the same time. And there's Hiko. 22 health left. He has to hold this down. Forest creeping forward. Nice entry. And there's Fiflaren with the second frag. Good take by Ninjas in Pajamas. Continuing to own this. Complexity strategy did work. The goal was, let's take Lobby. Let's get the bomb down, because they put that bomb inside a Lobby. And then just hold Lobby. But Ninjas in Pajamas, with the retake on that, wins that round. All right, eight points to zero now. Complexity getting destroyed. Blue Shell Effect still in full effect, buying Famas again. All right, Ninjas in Pajamas. I don't expect them to switch up what they're doing at all. It is working. So here it is. Forest Marshmallow. Get right over here at the uh, squeaky. Be flaring, running out red. Um, Freeberg playing uh, ramp actually just went down and exists on the floor in the hut. So there's a pick. This looks like a good round for complexity. This may be their chance. Another pick here. By Fiflaren taking out Semphis, who every time rotates over there um, to Secret. Fiflaren already expecting it. Down to hate 8 health, though. Fiflaren goes down to nothing. And we're seeing some wall bangings here by Forrest. Trying to take down Swag, who he knows is in there. Swag holding this off. Here's him running around outside. Bomb ready to take bomb side A. One player inside of Heaven. Hego can rotate very fast as well and can even flank him. Oh, shoots Forrest and sends him flying across the map. Now just one player left, and that's going to be Get Right. And he's going to be pushing at the ramp. Hiko has already rotated, though, so he has a chance here. One player is downstairs waiting for him. And he is listening. That's going to be nothing. Takes him down with a close-range headshot M4. And that is going to be that. Complexity finally nabs their first round here in this match. All right, still looking very bleak for Complexity. Check out the money, though. They've been able to grab a lot of uh, kills off of Ninjas in Pajamas and put them low in the money to the point where if they lose this round, they're going to have to save. Complexity has tons of money now. After getting a full blue shell, a win, they even have enough for these Molotovs. Now, North American strategies rely pretty heavily on the defensive Molotovs. It's something that sort of defers it from the European strategy, so it's fun to see this. All right, just trying to wall bang outside. Wall bangs coming from the other side as well. Garrus playing from inside of Big Garage does go down. Terrace already downstairs though. Counter Terrace gonna be a very difficult rotate for them. There it is, evened it up. Swag takes down Freeberg and evens it to a three versus three retake. Garrus exist watching the ramp and this looks good. Swag takes out Forrest as well. Definitely the MVP of this team. And Get Right holds it. Now just Semphis left. He knows where Get Right is. Throwing the nade. Get Right is low. Nade was supposed to force Get Right out, but he didn't move a muscle. And that will force Semphis to fall back. Ninjas in pajamas taking yet again another round. Another nade hitting uh, Get Right. And Get Right once again doesn't flinch. Get Right was sort of chasing Semphis out of there. They're trying to survive. All right. Nine now in a row, or nine, nine in a row, but nine points T-side, Ninjas in Pajamas, Nuke. And guess what, guys? Ninjas in Pajamas, CT-side, Nuke is a legendary. Complexity is going to have a very hard time once they get to T-side, breaking through it. Many people at this point would call GG. But it is all up to a professional team, you know, to have that willpower to stay in it. Hiko now with a Mag-7. He has some crucial Mag-7, two Mag-7 frags on the last map, uh, Dust-2. So let's see what he can do this time. So this round, when they know the uh, counter terrorists are going to be saving, they're going to be pushing outside and just taking downstairs. Didn't even do a smoke off. Sort of trying to say, come on, try and pick us, guys. Here's Gares in position. Checking out his gun. And... Oh! Goes down and dies like a movie villain. Terrorists have the sight. Nah, probably not going to see a retake here. And we'll see what these counter-terrorists decide to do. 
They could save these weapons. They have M4 and that Mag-7. Good weapons to save. All right, get right, Lurk takes out nothing. Terrace downstairs. Waiting for him, and I think it will be a save here. Mag-7 and M4. Counter Terrace now exiting the bomb site. Semphis could grab Forrest. Oh, and he turns away at the last second. Forrest going outside, and he turns away again. Hiko creeping up on him, trying to catch him off guard, and oh, get right on the other side. But there, Semphis finally gets his man, takes down Forrest. And they are just absolutely spamming him here, trying to take him down. All right, complexity only at one point again. Ninjas in pajamas now 10. They are making it look easy. All right, and uh, Ninja Pajamas, if they win this, will push this into game number three of this series. All right. Two Famuses here from Complexity. Still don't really have the money. They're setting up sort of the same way. They might want to try something different. This time, two players at ramp. Quickly. Oh, look at that pre-nade. Ninjas in Pajamas expecting them to try another one of their pushes. Did not push, though. So that pre-nade did not work. There's the defensive smoke off. Two players playing ramp. They're expecting them to take ramp. Ninjas in pajamas just trying to get position on where these players are. Then they'll decide where to go. Here's Exist. Going to be uh, peeking at ramp. Another smoke off. Preventing him from pushing. That much longer. The only smoke left is on swag. So Ninjas in pajamas. Already taken outside. So one of the things Complexity has been having trouble with is holding down outside. They've been giving outside... Tufi, Flaren, and Forest nearly every single round. This opens up so many options for the ninjas in pajamas. They can go downstairs, they can do a split A, they can go around at hell, and it makes complexity have to watch so many places at once. So here comes the A take here. Tufi, Flaren coming through the hut. Counter terrorists have to hold it off. And they are escaping from this bomb site. Gonna go for the retake. Oh, look at this. Nothing tries to sneak up from behind, but get right already in position, waiting for that. And another round here. Looks like it's gonna go to ninjas in pajamas. Swag. Flaren absolutely waiting for him. Now just Hiko. Once again, last player. One versus five. Trying to grab just anything. And he will go down to a knife by Freeberg to add insult to injury. Humiliation. Ninjas in pajamas at 11 points. Complexity is getting hurt. This has to hurt their spirits. At this level of competition, even coming out of a win on Dust 2. Now, this is just so painful to watch. All right, and they will be saving on this round. They do not have the money. Only a single point. And what is Ninjas in Pajamas going to do here on this save round? They've got that bomb back. And looking like it's going to be the same sort of thing. This time, four players lobby, only one outside. That's going to be for Flaren. We have Counter Terra set up outside. Going to be able to grab that uh, that AK, but they are actually pushing here at ramp. Could be going downstairs very fast. Hiko rotates downstairs to wait for them. Here comes Forrest. And nice shot. They're going to be getting that bomb down fairly soon. Semphis grabs a uh, Deagle shot. Now nothing. The player with an AK-47. Stole that thing off of Flaren's corpse there. Swag. Moving up. To computer room. Nothing moving in from the back. And they can still take this. They've got a deagle up. And... Not able to take him down. Nothing looking like he wants to just save this AK-47. Swag moving in. Try to make something happen. Not going to happen. Wow, that nade just put Git right down to 5 health. And because of that, they know where nothing is. They're not going to exit through ramp. They're going to exit through a secret there. So, another round to ninjas in pajamas. Complexity saved. Only thing they're able to accomplish here is uh, three dead terrorists and an AK-47 saved on nothing. That's a good save round. But at the same point, they are so far behind, they have to pull off some thrilling heroics. And here they go, buying on this round. We'll be able to full buy AK-47 on nothing. That he liberated. And up here on Gares, and he's been playing outside with this thing. But he hasn't been holding it off. Has not been getting those op kills. He's got to take on Fiflaren and Forrest. All right, there's the smoke. And trying to go after Fiflaren. Forrest in position, up on the Marshmallow to try to frag him. This is finally Gares' chance to hold off this outside push. Forrest gets picked. 
Fiflaren with a nice pick, but Semphis trades with him, so it's all good. Looking like a round for the ninjas in pajamas. They are now moving as a desperation to take ramp. Hiko moving downstairs and giving it to him, not trying to hold it off. They can go to hell at this point. And Semphis was the player trying to hold off hell. Terras have taken it. So, all three players, three versus three, they have ramp. They could go heaven, they could go back to lobby, they could really go anywhere. Ramp doesn't guarantee that they're uh, going to be taking something. Look like they're going to take A, though. Because they have Gidright back inside of the lobby. Actually, where is Gidright going? Outside. This is interesting. He's going to be throwing this smoke. Let's watch where the smoke goes. It's all important smoke. Through the skylight. Smoking off heaven. And then the terrorists are going to push heaven and plant the bomb inside of a site. So here is nothing, the player on the ground, to try and hold this off, and Gidright will be in position to move in through the lobby. This is a nice three-man take here from Ninjas in Pajamas. Nice shooting, Swag takes out Exist. Now a one versus two. Gidright is going to get that bomb down. Will have to be a retake, let's see if he can hold this off. He's got Hiko and Swag to deal with two excellent shots. Swag takes him down, will be defusing that bomb. Swag with a three frag on that round has been playing superbly in this game. I love that take though by Ninjas in Pajamas on the bomb site, with that uh, smoke to block off heaven from the player outside. That's a, sort of an awkward position to be with to have your Terra spread that thin, but it definitely worked. Nuke is a map where you can take bomb sites in many, many different ways from all over the place. All right, last round on the half. Both teams are able to buy. Complexity really wants to win this. Ninjas in Pajamas at 12 points. I mean, is this recoverable? Most people would say no. And I would be one of them. Terrorists trying to push outside. But of course, it's Counter-Strike Global Defensive, for crying out loud. It can happen. This is not a, ma this is not a game where momentum determines the outcome. This is a game where skill, teamwork, communication determines the outcome. And there goes Swag trading. Symphis has to hold this off. Trades again. Now a three versus three. So, Complexity was able to win one of these three versus threes. Oh, no. Nothing just got picked. Gare's holding downstairs. Terrace can go upstairs, though. They can go up the fence. So, that would be the proper call at this, at this point. And get right in lobby. So, I think that's what they're going to do. And taking that bomb upstairs. We'll be going to plant that thing. Hiko and Gares moving together. Looking like they're going to go heaven. This could be a huge mode down. There's the smoke off, so preventing them from going heaven. And counter-terrorists are up. One moving around inside of uh, the garage. That is going to be Hiko. Get right, waiting for him around the corner. Hiko seems to know he's there. Trying to move into this site, and there's the frag! Exist takes out Gares, and that's gonna be it for the half. Ninjas in pajamas at 13 points, dominating this game. And I will resume once the players are ready. Players are ready for the second half. First half definitely went to Ninjas in pajamas. Complexity had some trouble. I mean, ninja, everywhere that Ninjas in pajamas was pushing, there was only one counter terrorist to deal with. So it really had to do with Complexity's rotation as well as their setting up. Ninjas in pajamas getting great intel on what was going on. That was just not the way to play Nuke. All right, and here's Forest at ramp, looking like terrorists want to push ramp. Forest to hold it off, and if they push here, they only do have just Forest to contend with. One player inside of Hell could rotate to help him, or he's playing Heaven right now, can go Hell. And Terrorist now getting ready to push. We should see a rotate at this point. Forest is holding it off. Here's Fiflaren, actually a very nice hold off by Forest here. Now Forest downstairs. Gidright moves in to assist. One player left, that's going to be Garrus. Counter Terrorist moving in from all sides. He finally does go down. Nice round there for the ninjas in pajamas. And winning the pistol round, that's going to be a... I mean, come on now. Can Complexity come back from that? They now have to buy here, T-side. Second round. Let's see if they do the armor or pistol buy. And they're doing a three-player. Yes, yes, they're doing it. So, armor pistol buy here from Complexity. We actually have three deagles on the field. So, it is a deco, old school. Let's see what they can do. Ninjas in pajamas at 14 points. They need to win this round, and it is going to be very, very difficult. Ninjas in pajamas buying up three Fomuses. 
They want to end this right now. Oh, look at this outside take. All of Complexity streaming out here, and this is how Complexity plays. They usually all move the same way and take sites like this and open it up, try to do trades. That's exactly what they're doing here, but uh, oh my, Freeberg with some nice shots. Here's Hiko. One versus four, can he make it happen? And Hiko does go down. Hiko, now the reason he's always alive is because he's the Lurk player. He goes after rotators. Goes the other way than the rest of the team. So when something goes horribly, horribly wrong, as you saw, it's just Hiko left to try and pick up the pieces. And here we go, match point. Ninjas in pajamas getting ready to nail the final nail into the coffin of complexity on DE Nuke. It'll move on to a game number three if they do so. And complexity here forced to do another deco. Five man deco. I want it to succeed just because I want to see the return of the deco here. And Samphis going for the frag. Not able to take it down. Nothing as well. Look at this, man. Oh, Gidright finally takes him. And he is going to be. Uh, Strafing back and forth to take those players down. Hiko trying to hold the sight. Ninjas in pajamas. Playing how they should. Playing it super passive. Now going to be taking picks. Nice shot by Swag. Now putting it into a 3 versus 4. Still advantage to the Ninjas in pajamas. But their players are low. And we actually have a, a Fama stolen here. Bomb is down outside. Swag moving back up to take it. There's Fiflaren watching it. Now puts it into a 3 versus 3. This is match point. They need to grab that bomb. Here's moving forward into the hut. Does get sprayed down by Gidright. Gidright has been an absolute ninja during this round. He has taken players down from all over the place. Swag wants to grab that bomb. Knows that Fiflaren is still watching it. 35 seconds left. He has a smoke he could use to grab that bomb. And he doesn't know where Fiflaren is. He was hell last seen. Could be anywhere at this point. 25 seconds left. Needs to grab this bomb. Could go upstairs or downstairs at this point. Could go down those uh, vents. And we'll see what Swag's going to try to do. 18 seconds left. Get right. Still ninjing this thing. Is low, though. Hiko moves forward to try and get her surround. Swag does get that frag. 11 seconds left, and he's going to be planting this bomb. Hiko needs to hold this off. And looks like they're going to allow this bomb plant to happen. Ninjas in pajamas moving around to retake this thing from two sides. Two versus two retake here. And here comes Forrest. Up heaven. Looking like terrorists are just going to be playing that bomb. If they can grab one player, then all they have to do is play that bomb. Fiflaren takes out Hiko with a nade. Just swag left. One versus two. We'll be defusing that bomb. Forrest watching it, and that's going to be game. Ninjas in pajamas takes his uh, takes game number two. And they will move on to game number three. That was an absolute win out there. An absolute domination. That was completely... I mean, complexity got absolutely like, outclassed on that map. Let's see what they're going to be able to do on Train. Train, a map that Ninjas in Pajamas is famous for being undefeated on for quite a bit of time. Now, thank you folks very much for watching. I am the War Owl, and I still have no closer.